My name's uh, Dr. Robert O'Connell. I'm an orthopedic sports medicine surgeon here at OrthoS. I'm passionate about treating athletes and, and active patients. I did a, a specialized uh, training in sports medicine, which is where we treat you know a variety of injuries, mostly in athletes. They can be traumatic, they can be degenerative cases, but really our, our goals are to get patients back to being active and pain-free and getting back to a lifestyle that they had before they became injured. My approach to patient care, or one of the main things I try to focus on is making sure that me and the patient both have a clear understanding of what the expectations and the goals of that patient's uh, outcome are. You know, it's very different treating a patient that has a, a goal of getting back to gardening versus treating a patient who's trying to get back to high level basketball or competitive football. The patients that I typically treat here um, are, are pretty variable. I, I see a lot of general orthopedics, but as a sports medicine trained physician, we see a lot of um, athletes with acute injuries. Uh, my practice is mostly probably hip, knee, and shoulder injuries, um, but we'll treat everything from ankles and elbows to, you know, I see kids all the way through adults. Some of the most common things that I'll treat are, you know, ligament injuries in the knee or meniscus injuries in the knee, but also rotator cuff problems and shoulder, hip and knee arthritis. Um, so we, we have a lot of kind of tools in our bag in terms of how we can treat patients. There's a lot of non-operative and operative management options that we have. Uh, while, you know, the treatments may be similar, they can be very different at the same time and making sure that there's an understanding and a joint decision-making process that goes into how I treat the patient is one of my biggest uh, one of my biggest goals, and and also the communication of that. So I want to make sure that they have a clear understanding of what the plan is before they leave the visit. And if they have it, then I haven't really done my job in, in explaining what our options are. I hope patients take away a couple of things: mostly confidence in the decision that that we've made in terms of how we're going to treat their problem, um, and I hope that they've taken away the fact that I've, I've been able to answer all their questions and hopefully make them a little bit more at ease about the pathology or the issue that's bothering them.